Tingo, we got a five. It's new microphone and type sequence time. Tell me what you think. So here's your laser housing from Axis. And this is the 650 nanometers and the 12 by 30 mil. Rated at 5 milliwatt. So there it is inside the anti-static casing. Pull it out. And then you see there it is with all the stickers on it. So obviously you want to put your own diode in it from a DVD burner. So what we're going to do, we're going to disassemble it. And we're going to start with that. Well, firstly, we're going to test see if this works. Always good to check if it works. And yes, it does. Red laser coming out. Perfect. So there's your laser diode. If you don't know where that came from, click here. And firstly, you want to get the sticker off. It's just annoying and you need to get it off. So peel back the sticker. Keep the sticker because you can stick it on something else. Then you want to do the plastic cap on the top. This is the bit with the lens in it. So when you've undone that, it reveals a spring. Hurrah! Then you can see inside to the laser diode. This is the 5 milliwatt one that Axis put in. So you want to get the bottom off now. So hold the top with a pair of pliers and just twist. Simple as that. You've got to break the glue so it does need some force. But you can do it. Simple. Reveal it back and everything's covered in the glue that you use to hold it still, don't worry about it. Non corrosive and doesn't harm me. And there's your diode. Again. So, what we need to do, we need to get the diode and the driver out. And here's how you can do this. What you want is something that's going to fit inside that hole. Bigger than the diode, but not bigger than the case. Yeah. So, you want it to fit in there. And what we can do, you can tap out the diode with a hammer. So what I'm going to use is this. A vise to hold it still and a bolt. You must use a bolt. Do not use a screw. There is a big difference between a screw is pointy and a bolt isn't. So you put your bolt in and you want to gently tap it with your hammer. Simple. So here's me doing it. Saw it fall out there. Picking it up now. And there it is. A little bit of dust on it, but there you go. That's how to get the diode out. Simple. And when the camera will focus on it, there you go. There. So take your diode there, which you've wrapped up nice and safe, and you want to put it inside there. And to do that, I use a pair of wire strippers and just squash it in. Simple. So don't forget to subscribe. It's free. And you can email me.